Brock Baseball, yes, 100% live early Sunday morning in Woodstock. Yes. Today we continue our look at the 1913 World Series champion Philadelphia Athletics. And in this video, we will be looking at the standard fielding stats for all outfield positions. As baseball reference doesn't separate, have a separate category for the three different positions in the outfield. So we're going to do all the outfield positions combined. But before we do that, we're going to do it the way that we do it every single morning here on the Brock Baseball Network. Mm -hmm. mm. Now, not a Starbucks cup this time. Just a conventional mason jar style cup that I got on clearance at the uh, local grocery store. I think I've talked about it before. But it was a really, really good deal, and I love good deals, so I got it. This, of course, is the Aldi's Coffee. And uh, again, we're going with the White Chocolate Peppermint Bark Conventional Creamer. And take one more sip here. That is tasty. But let's get into today's category. Oh, no, wait a minute. Let's get into the category. We're talking, as I mentioned before, this is all combined outfield positions for the 1913 World Series champion Philadelphia Athletics. So we're looking at, of course, 153 games played. Now combined was a 459. There we go. I'm trying to get this a little more centered here. 459 combined games started. That's for all the players. 420 completed games, so they didn't complete all the games. 4,500 or 4,053 innings. 920 defensive chances. 835 put outs. Now remember, this is all the positions combined. 48 assists. 37 errors, ooh, they, 15 double plays, so they were involved with 96% fielding percentage, which I think is pretty good. Feels like it's pretty good. And then we're looking at that range factor of 1.80. And that was a look at the outfield of the 1913 World Series champion Philadelphia Athletics. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you on the next one and feel free. No pressure. I don't pressure people. I don't e-bag. I'm not, not there yet. I don't have a Patreon yet. I think you have to have at least a thousand subs to even think about that or a thousand dollars in your bank account. One or the other. I don't have either of those. So that is not going to be a thing. But feel free to like, subscribe, comment, whatever the case may be. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you.